Good afternoon. Well, I've come to Cold in search of waterfalls, so why not come with me and see how many we can find? Right, well good afternoon and we're somewhere very different today. We've come out to Keld which is in the Yorkshire Dales and we're on a hunt for waterfalls. I have been here before and I've photographed um, at least one, two, three lots of waterfalls. I think it's three but I'm hoping to find some more so We'll have a look, see what we can find. I'm not quite sure whether this will be all one video or if we find enough waterfalls, it might be split into two. So I've got plenty of time, although it's uh, maybe we would have liked to have got here earlier. It's, it's getting on for half one now, but um, there's no rush to be back. So we can see what we can find. And the weather's changeable, I think. Uh, but the advantage of waterfalls is uh, normally you can get a good image no matter what the weather um, within reason <laughs> that is so yeah so we'll have a wander along see what we can find and we'll see you a little bit later Right, well we've made it to the first set of waterfalls which is Kitson 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 Force. I'll put the, the name up on the video because I'm probably pronouncing it wrong. And you can see that it, there's two sets of falls. There's the upper falls which you can see there. And then as the river comes down. We can see the, the lower falls and then the river swale just carries on its way. So what we're going to do is have a, a mooch around, possibly put the drone up, and then we'll see what compositions we can come up with. So, yeah, it looks quite impressive. And it, it's reasonable weather and reasonable light, so we'll see what we can do. And anyway, we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come up with our composition for the top falls. It's fairly limited as uh, there's not many places you can get. I've just come in the rocks here and then there's some more rocks there in the foreground and then the, the actual falls behind. But obviously over there it's all river which will be too fast flowing etc to try and get the tripod in. I think we might do better with the, the lower falls. So yeah, we can see there the composition and I've taken, I started off with the 24 to 70 lens on at 70 and took some images, captured some images. And then I've put the 70 to 200 on and I think we're at about 130. Just trying to get a bit closer in. But what I have done following seeing a, a video, I've taken numerous images at, at different shutter speeds uh, with a long lens from probably six seconds right up to two hundredths of a second and then I can see it once I get home which I prefer which I think does it justice because you can't really tell on the, the back of the camera and it's better to take too many images rather than too few and then wish you'd done a different speed so yeah, so that's um, 
the composition there. So if I just turn round, it's a bit. Uh, you can see that. You can see that uh, the falls there. So we'll go further along, looking back, and we'll see what we can do with those. So. Yeah, I'll put that image up and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, well we've come to the lower falls and we're on this um, rock here and there was a, some, a photographer just before us who was just stood there, I tried that but these trees were getting in the way. I just felt this was the best position and uh, we've got the, the waterfall and we've got the, the upper falls in, in the background. It's not the easiest uh, ones to, to photograph and I'm just debating whether to come round and do more of an angle one uh, we'll maybe see about doing something like that but yeah it's 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 been a good day so far it's taken a bit longer than I, th I think thought it might but again I've taken multiple different text um, shutter speeds and we'll see which one is best so yeah we'll put the best one up on the video we'll see if we're going to do any different angles and then we'll go on and we'll see you at the next waterfall so bye for now Right, well we've made it to the next falls which is East Gill Falls. Now there is a bit of a fall down there and as we turn to come this way, it's quite dark in here actually, there's that little fall and I don't know whether you can see, I don't know if I try and zoom in through there, there is the main falls there. So we'll go and we'll start with the, the main ones, see if there's any 
options that then come down here and maybe the ones near the river. So, yeah, we're here and we'll have a mooch around and we'll see you a little bit later. Right, we've found our composition of the main falls. And you can see the camera there and there's the falls. It's been quite difficult. I mean, I've, I mean, the composition is more or less as you see in it in the uh, in the video there. And we'll, we'll just show the back of the camera then looking up to the the falls. So yeah, it's quite a pleasant, the quite pleasant falls. And it's quite a nice composition. But with the clouds and the sun, the clouds keep coming over and darkening. Then the sun's coming out and brightening. So it's quite difficult, you just get your shutter, your settings set and you're just about to take it and then the sun comes out and makes it all totally different. So so yeah, but we've got I think we've got a good composition again. We took I took many compositions at different speeds and we'll see which is best. So I think what we'll do is we'll put that well we'll, we'll have a mooch around see if we can get any other images possibly with the lower folds and the main folds in you can see it's suddenly come very bright again and then we'll put any images up and we'll go and hunt out uh, the next falls so yeah we'll put some images up and we'll see you a little bit later Right, I'll have to raise my voice so you can hear me because the, the waterfall is quite noisy. But we've come to the last one for this video which is Curragh Force. And it's, it, to me it's one of the best ones, although I'm on this rock here in the middle of the river. And I did struggle because uh, I think when I've been before there's been less water and easier to get across. But I did manage to get across. I've just got to get safely back across with the camera. So I've just taken a straightforward image at various speeds, bracketed because of the high dynamic range with the darkness and the brightness of the sky. So we'll see what happens with those. We'll put the best one up and we'll see you a little bit later.
Right, I'm going to bring this video to an end here. We've been to three waterfalls. The last one was a bit difficult because it's difficult to get to because technically it's not on a, a public footpath, although it's not far off. And yeah, it's a bit dark in there and it was difficult to get across the, um, the river. And I am aware of time. So yeah, so we're going to bring this video to an end here. It's been a good day so far. Three waterfalls, quite a few images, so hopefully you'll have enjoyed that. And if you have enjoyed it, please click the thumbs up if you haven't already. And if you like what I'm doing, if you're not already subscri subscribed, why not subscribe? It does the channel great things. So, yeah. So, we'll head on. Um, and this will continue on the next video next Sunday. So, yeah, we'll see you a little bit. Well, no, we'll see you a bit later. We'll see you on the next video.